Atrial fibrillation is an abnormal heart rhythm characterized by rapid and irregular beating of the heart. It occurs more commonly as age increases. Patients with atrial fibrillation have a five-fold increase in risk of stroke due to the possibility of blood clot formation in the heart. High-risk patients should receive treatment with blood thinners to prevent stroke. In addition to stroke, atrial fibrillation can result in an uncomfortable feeling of fast heartbeats and may lead to weakening of the heart if poorly controlled. Hi, I'm Dr. Julian Teng and I'm here today to help you debunk some common myths about atrial fibrillation. The incidence of atrial fibrillation increases with age, and in most patients, atrial fibrillation tends to be progressive. Other conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or stroke also occur with increasing age and are also risk factors for the development of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. Thus, in the majority of patients with atrial fibrillation, treatment becomes more important with time. The main goals of treatment include reducing stroke risk with blood thinners and controlling atrial fibrillation with medication or procedures. It has been estimated that 40% of patients with atrial fibrillation do not experience any symptoms at all and they do not know that they have atrial fibrillation. The risk of stroke is increased in atrial fibrillation regardless of whether it causes any discomfort. In fact, a significant proportion of patients are unfortunately diagnosed with atrial fibrillation only after a stroke occurs because they were never aware of it prior. People with atrial fibrillation can continue to drive and exercise if their condition is controlled and if they are not prone to fainting. In fact, people with atrial fibrillation should continue to exercise to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Some people think that atrial fibrillation can only be treated with surgery or pacemakers and are hence understandably hesitant to come forward to receive treatment. Atrial fibrillation can be managed with medication to restore a normal heart rhythm or gain control of the fast heart rates when it occurs. Blood thinners are commonly prescribed to prevent stroke. Your physician may also recommend procedures such as catheter ablation, which has been proven to be more effective in controlling atrial fibrillation and medication alone. Naturally, everyone has concerns about the side effect of medications. The risk of bleeding from taking blood thinners is low with the current blood thinners available compared to older formulations. The risk of serious bleeding is estimated to be about only 1% per year. Your physician will recommend blood thinners if the risk of stroke outweighs the risk of bleeding. Preventing stroke is of great importance as a stroke arising from atrial fibrillation tends to be more severe. Atrial fibrillation often needs lifelong therapy. We can help manage the condition by slowing down or stopping its progression. In addition to seeking treatment, these are things that you can do to help. Quit smoking. Abstain from alcohol intake or reduce it as much as possible. Lose weight and try to achieve a healthy BMI between 18.5 to 22.9 kilogram per meter squared. Aim for good control of high blood pressure, cholesterol and diabetes if these conditions are present. Maintain an exercise routine with 30 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise 5 times a week and gradually increase this to 300 minutes a week 